Paul Park for the start of the double header. 20,000 people in the arena and probably another 10 or 15 trying to get in at the bounce. Third against the Magpies and what an important game it is. In they go, can't get it out and the umpire will come and ball it up. Umpires Michael Abbott and Laurie Argent in charge as they put the ball down at the centre. Reynolds against Johnson, Reynolds tap away. Jennifer couldn't get it out. In they go again. Jennifer at the bottom. Quickly onto the boot there of McWilliam. Up towards the half-back line. Taken by Abba. Abba goes out wide. Good lead there out there by Foster. Can't quite make it on the half volley. Here's a chance now for Sturt through Scott Russell. He puts it towards the half-forward line. Butter up. He gets it again. On the left foot. Up towards full forward. Shatty gets up there. Can't bring it down. Walk in pursuit. But the ball goes out of place in the full forward left pot. Neville Roberts. You're pacing the game so far, fantastic conditions, both sides not giving an inch physically. Ketchke will do the ruck work. Well, he got panned a ball too, it went down Underwood, couldn't control it. Johnson out to Phillips, Phillips couldn't gather it in now, an opportunity. Shaggy on the right boot, has a snap, it's high towards the goal square, Delaney's underneath it. He cut, oh he did, right on the line, and he played on quickly. Good work Delaney, goes out wide, BRG on the left foot but too short and underneath that one a good mark taken by Kim Russell Well, Russell sets off the double blues playing with vigour and pace towards the full forward post the pack flies no one underneath that Williams with the ball out on the left foot oh nicely placed and Simpson at half back has the mark well Port Adelaide looking sharp too they're quick to play on Simpson goes through half forward Smith out underneath oh he missed it Smith Scott Russell with the ball grandstand wing Delina watch him go with pace Towards the pocket, nobody home for the double blues. Ketchke sits underneath it. Oh, pack a play. Whoa! He got five last week and he's banged his first through. That's a goal. The double blues are on the board. Two minutes into the first quarter and what a good crowd enjoying good football. Walt placed himself beautifully for that. We'll see today most high balls that come into the forward line will be contested pretty vigorously. I think uh, any forwards from either side particularly up there with Kitschke being tall and Shaki around the place, but uh, Port Adelaide defenders will let them take easy marks. So on the ground's the place to be there. Walked did it well, got his first. An estimated 21 degrees forecast, strong breeze, Sturt kicking with it, having won the toss. Johnson against Reynolds, they've got to go look for it. Bump to the outer side and the umpire will recall the footy to have another bounce. Turf looks in magnificent condition. And of course, both teams keen to win the double chance at stake. Umpire Laurie Argent coming back after his match. Suspension for some indiscretion. Johnson, Jennifer, can't get it out. Over the top there is I. Jennifer again burrows the ball out. Can't do it. And the umpire will rebound the ball again. What a magnificent day. Blue sky, sun out. Spring about to approach us as Reynolds goes for it with Johnson who got the tap away. Leslie Carnell, that's a high tackle. We'll see it is to put the Blues into attack from the Jets side of the centre line. And there's a 15 metre penalty. The double Blues elect not to use it. Whittle see long towards the full forward post. Oh, big pack blue painter through solidly. Phillips drops back underneath it. Will the ball sit for him? He's having trouble. Over the top he goes. That was good work, Boyd. In the pocket and Greg Boyd accelerates away. Simpson, he'll need to go solidly. Oh, he used his body well. He went to feed it off to Williams. And there's a free kick picked out. It's going away to Double Blues Russell. Double Blues forward line congested. Russell changes the direction of play. Whittlesey, he'll bomb one long to the goal square. The back of the pack, Walker sitting. Oh, he flew against Ketsky. Boyd takes the ball across the line. And that's where it finishes. Four minutes into the first term. The Blues going long, as they ought to, with the breeze, throwing adjacent to the behind post. Kitschke to Russell Johnson, deep in defence. Johnson goes for the safety of the line, and it goes out of play. Chased there by George Fiacci. Throw in about 10, 15 metres around this time. Sturt with a goal on the board. Ford attacking into the breeze. Hasn't yet scored. Johnston took front position. Kitschke, oh, but high over the top. Phelps dumps the ball across the line. And a game will have a throw in. Neville uh, strikes me that the congestion in that forward zone of the double blues is causing them some problems. Yes, it is at the moment, David. Kitschke again. Johnson at the front taps it down. Yes, Over the top of it, Abernathy can't get there. Fiatchi also. And again, the ball beats them across the line. We'll have an action replay. Wayne Marnie 
out of the Port Adelaide 21. And I think Moschini, Moschini is out of the Blues 21. At the throw in again. Russell Johnson all goes through him. Played it. Did it well. Got a kick. Walk. Can he make it through? Shoot. Go. Brilliant lead on. He would have got another kick, but it's home. Walk has got his second goal. And Port Adelaide haven't yet scored. Sturt have got two. Whatever the opportunist. Keeping his eye on the ball. When the ball's on the ground, this guy's going to be very dangerous today. It's fine weather and uh, I guess uh, quick snaps at a goal like that really make the difference. Three minutes earlier, we saw Simpson take a mark on the half-forward flank. We casually pay on, pay the penalty for a, uh, for a mistake. They take it back to their forward line and kick a goal. The Breeze favouring the double blues. The Magpies still haven't goaled. In fact, they still haven't scored. Dead heat for that one. Nobody could take it. Martin Leslie, that arm, that shoulder, the wetsuit over the top. Still obviously not fully fit. It's Laurie Argent sets the ball in motion again. Johnston, Reynolds, down it goes. Eye feeds off. Scott Russell in trouble. Abernathy underneath it. Couldn't control it. Finally bursting through. Oh, Martin Leslie, well done with strength. Feeds it back. The Magpies are doing it hard out of defence. Williams in trouble. He can't dispatch the ball. Now Russell, Underwood, Long, oh, intercepted, well done for Archie. He goes wide, sitting back underneath that one. Foster can't take it, McWilliam spoils. I am McWilliam in support. Johnston, all solidly true, couldn't control the ball, but he's got a free kick for a high tackle, tackle and worked that out. Might have been a little lucky, David. Johnston will edge the ball down to the outer side, but the umpire is going to give him a 15 metre penalty which will bring him to the attack side of centre wing. Kicking into quite a brisk breeze. Johnson now. Port Adelaide hasn't been past their half forward line. He kicks into the man. Not a good effort at all. Getting back in defence on the outer side. Let's have a look at his. David I can't quite get it. Here's a chance now. Hines in the battle. With him is McWilliam. Johnson over the top. Ball comes out now. Chance for Russell. Close to the line. In fact, uh, he's out of bounds now. Put forcibly out of bounds by a Port Adelaide player. Stewart is two goals, Port yet to score. Big crowd building, expecting a huge crowd. We may even see the league record for a home and away game broken today. That's 36,000 odd people. Still streaming down the boulevard. And a free kick to I. I waste no time, heads towards the centre of the field. Oh, this could be dangerous. A fine mark taken there by Simpson. And he's opened the game in fine style. Three possessions already as he goes towards half forward. Oh, no control as players crash, crash through. Downs over the top of the ball. Taking the ground was Hodges. He kicked four last week, but he'll need his best kick now. Into the breeze, 55 metres out. Darren Smith drops back into the square. He likes to put the long bomb through the goal square. Smith sets himself from behind. No mark. McWilliam and I. I feeds it off. Well done, Richter. With pace, out of defence. Reynolds. Oh, he turned the long handball into space. Oh, Delane has got a panic. The ball sits for him. All the way to the square he goes. Long. Ketsky drops back underneath it. Will it carry it? Won't. Belts has got a hand to it. Right on the line. Good desperate work. One behind to the double blues there. Two goals one. Porter yet to score. The difference between the two sides when they go forward is quite obvious. At least they've got some crummers at Port Adelaide's end. Uh, at Sturt's end. Port Adelaide's end. Just long bombs and Sturt doing the crumbing well. Stephen Williams. Half back flank to send the Magpies out. They'll probably try to slow it down, let the seconds tick away. Foster can't get there. The ball out of play at centre wing. 2-1, 13 points. Port Adelaide yet to open their account. But they're kicking into that very strong breeze, and they still they come in through the boulevard. Half of them won't get here to see the start of the second game, I wouldn't think. Johnson and Reynolds. Johnson's tap. Leslie gets it over to Geneva. Kick is a poor one. Foster can't. The bounce will determine. Smith, Darren... Gets a running play, doesn't want him. Centers the ball, or does he? Goes up towards the leaper. Kerr, big one. Going through Richter. Coming the other way, Foster. Leslie. Williams. Kerr. He'll be in a running play, too. He's clear. Puts it on its way. Close up the wall. Full forward. Hines can't quite get there. Here's a chance. Hodges will need support. Hooks around the corner. A big chance here. Foster. He's got it. Thought about playing off. Going back to take his kick, and believe you me, this is an awkward kick to put away. He'll be tucked right into the boundary line. Umpire Argent putting him further around. He booted four last week. 
he tries to check side this, he's got to do it into a breeze. That's a difficult kick at the best of times. He's going for the drop punt. Only a couple of... No, the check side now. Can he bring it back? Let's have a look. Oh, does he do? He, uh, I think he's got it. Oh, what a kick. Port Adelaide on the board. It's taken them nearly 10 minutes. Now a goal. The Blues are 2-1 on 10 sports action. And the uh, interesting part of this game will be to see whether both sides are able to keep up the physical pressure and, uh, and stay with it mentally. At the moment, it's just uh, pound for pound in every crush. Really just a matter of opportunity at each end as far as goals go. A long way to go in this game. Seven points, the margin. The double blues have use of the breeze as William bends one back around the corner. Off Smith used his body well to create some space. Geneva caught on the left boot. They're under pressure, the Magpies, as Reed from defence for the double blues. Handball forward. Oh, watch this. The run of Russell. That's Kim Russell towards half forward. Shaggy. Oh, he's got it. What an improved player. Phillips has the job of mining Shaggy. He's the danger man. This man has two. Oh, he couldn't control that one. Hines handball that's straight across the line. And that's the long and the short of it, David Walk and Jeff Phelps. Throw in Johnson and Reynolds. Underwood all well taken. Phelps got nowhere to go. Gets out of it pretty well. Both one back up looking for Simpson intercepting there and being paid Galena. Showed a bit of courage. The umpire's whistle was pretty quick. Then he'll go centre towards the half forward line or Jeep. Laid him out to rest almost, and Lennon has snuck up from the half-back line and has taken a fine mark at centre-half forward. Now, I reckon Wind assisted. He could make the distance. See what sort of boot the boy's got on him. Only a youngster, teenager. Nice-looking kick, struggling. What on the line? Touched. Well done, Boyd. And the umpire indicates one point has been recorded to the Blues. They move on to 2-2. Port Adelaide is a goal. Magpies have been fortunate enough to touch the ball three times right on the last line of defence. Been desperate defensive work in that zone. His boy belts the ball towards half back. Pack of players fly. Martin Leslie's pulled from behind Lennon. Now over the top of the ball. Mark Wharton. He can't get there. And now the umpire will bring the ball back. Russell Johnston. Proposed to Kitsky, number three for the double blues. Oh, Kitsky took front position and got it down. Underwood dispatched the kick. It was a hurried one forward towards the line. It heads. Can they keep it in? Lennon, first man there, gets it back. Reynolds can have a snap. He bends it back around the corner. Not far enough, though. Evans, three for one behind. Two goal three, the double blues. One straight goal, Port Adelaide, on 10 sports action. Evans, can you be pretty happy with what's going on at the moment? The use of the ball into the forward line is very good. They're, uh, they're really peppering the goals. Uh, really, if you, if you trust your guts at the moment, uh, Sturt are a little bit on top. Roger Delaney. Still a strong breeze there, and uh, it's got to be worth three or four goals. 13 minutes gone, first quarter. And what a day for a doublehead. All going in short to Kerr. He's going to have to work hard. Could come unstuck. He's got the footy. Now he's lost it. Here's a chance. Oh, I slipped it over, put it on the left foot. Oh, but who it is? It's Underwood. And he's missed. Wonder what Underwood was doing up there on the forward line. And, uh, gee, that's always dangerous. And it came unstuck. But Port Adelaide did not make them pay. Still deciding to go short. Abernathy. Magpies were very fortunate on that occasion that they didn't pay for it. That mistake with a goal. Scott Russell belts it back right on the line. Can Delaney get there? He can't. Oh, but it's just the wrong side of the post. And one point, the double blues peppering the goal. We've got to concede that they're going with a reasonably strong breeze and uh, I guess it's not a bad strategy to try and use the ball into it, but from full back, you've really just got to try and get a bit of distance, a bit of space between the goals and, uh, and the opposition. On, this, on a few occasions, they've made mistakes at the kick-out. Delaney looking for the dead pocket, trying to bottle it up over there. Phillips, well done. Sweeps out a long hand with ball. Stephen Williams off the half-back line. Goes looking there for Smith. Oh, he gutted it well but couldn't bring it down. Here's a chance down with Williams. We've got a long handball. Richter goes down. Darren Smith with a chance. Puts it up towards the half four line. Out comes Hines. Won't get there. Chance in the back pocket now for Whittlesey. Taps it out cleverly. Hines again. Hooks around the corner. Well taken on the half back line by Andrew Downs. Downs comes out wide to Whittlesey. Well put. We'll take a breather. Third kick 
Whittlesey. Towards centre wing. Gets a lead. He's looking for Shacky. Puts it up to the half forward on. He's going to get a leap. Can't bring it down. Quickly whipped out by Painter. Under pressure there at the bottom of the pack. Field. Abernathy. Back to field. Here's a chance now for Russell Kintyre. Puts around the corner of the half forward line to Lena. Is an FAD in any case. Delina too far out to score. He's got Reynolds in the pocket, but he'll find Lennon beautifully put. And Lennon has got it 35 metres out, but on a difficult angle. I think, I think he must be on the ball. I'm trying to find out where he's playing. It's pretty difficult. Maybe we'll ask Neville that shortly, but all oh, the breeze took that away. You can see the strength of it there. He didn't take nearly enough of the left goal post and has gone through for a point. Dirt starting to waste opportunities. Now 2-6 to Port Adelaide as a goal. Where he heads, it's too long for that by Haver, and a good mark by Russell, he judged that. Took off just as the ball was kicked. Scott Russell, Dallin the junior, long, oh, good mark Delaney. The kick is short, Piazzi just inside the line, and the Port Adelaide defence making. Well, that was a comedy, Piazzi thought it was out, the umpire indicated the ball was sitting right on the line. He didn't worry about the ball, and neither did anyone else. And uh, Piazzi was just holding his hamstring. Let's hope for his sake he's not uh, unwell. Underwood snaps a goal, but again offline and three for one behind. Yes, I saw that, David, too. And I've just been talking to Neville off air, and uh, we wouldn't be at all surprised if Whittlesey and Lennon are changing in the back pocket. It's uh, not a move unlikely by Mervyn Kane. Leslie, good mark. Half back line to edge Port Adelaide out. Johnson gives him a lead towards centre wing. That's where the big fellow will go. No, it's not Johnson. Phelps in trouble. Down. Gets it over towards the half forward line. Here's a chance now for Ike. He can pick the ball up. Centres it. Oh, almost too far. Kitsky lost the footy. Wins the free. And he'll put Sturt right in. He's about 65 metres out. I don't think he can make the distance. Time will tell. Puts it off, beautifully put on the lead out there, Painter! What a perfect pass. Painter had to work hard in the end to get there. Made it and has got a shot from 35 metres out. He found a space, let him do it. And the pass was spot on. Biachi has pulled a hamstring, no question about that at all. Bad luck for Port Adelaide. Rowan Smith about to come on on the interchange. And that's the end for George Fiacci for a while, I would think, if that, uh, yes, he's going straight down into the, the rooms for the ICE treatment, uh, treatment. Painter, one of the best kicks, you'll see it. In a mark, straight through the middle, his first. The Blues are 3-7, Port of God on 10 sports action. And Jake Painter, whatever his range of goal, you can always count on, uh, on his exceptional skills to complete plays. He's a master at doing that. We always see him play well under pressure. As the Blues are cruising, sometimes he'll drop out of the game for a while, but in pressure games, he thrives in it. A perfect example of it. Back at centre, Kitschke having a run on the ball. Opposed to Johnson, but oh, Abernathy style it well, and it appears that Underwood and Lennon have that job on Abernathy. Will be over the top, couldn't control it. McWilliam out cleverly done. Rector in turn from defence. The double Blues turn it into attack as Whittlesey goes towards the half-forward line. Scott Field there. Ball from behind Harrison, the Port Adelaide player, and Field takes the ball across the line and will have a throw in. 18 and a half minutes gone, first term, and a big crowd at Football Park. Perfect conditions, and this is finals football. Shacking and Johnston, or oh, Johnston it was with a tap, who got it down. Martin Leslie crumbed it, but Underwood in trouble was held. Harrison, the quick kick away towards the line, it goes. And that's exactly where it finishes. Bounce just inside the line, and again, we'll have a throw in. 19 minutes gone, crowd still building. Well over 20,000 people at Football Park for the double header. What a day, what a triumph for the league. Johnson, edged out of it. Galena left it behind, farmed out by Field. Here's a chance now for Russell, puts it up towards full forward. Out comes Reynolds, there in front is Phil, did it well. Now Phillips, conceding ground. Delaney's done this well. Giving him some run. He'll find Simpson. Off the half back one goes in short. Fox is going to have to work hard. Lost the footy. Simpson again. Aerial ping pong. Rowan Smith keeps it in play. Not well done. 
the umpire said he's out. Oh, I doubt that, but the umpire was in perfect position. Port Adelaide up with some mischief with uh, their Ruck Rovers. But there's a Lennon. We don't see a painter a Ruck Roving when Lennon goes off before he goes to the back pocket. And the other players go to the half forward flank. That's Whittlesey and Painter. But then they're swapping on those half forward flanks as well. So, but of course, some mischief and upset the uh, Blues back line. The Port Adelaide back line, that is. Williams picked up a free for a push. Umpires are right on the spot. They're not letting anything go early. Kick number five towards half forward. Darren Smith slipped to the crucial stage. Allowed Kitschke the easiest of marks at half back. Damien Kitschke developing as one of the double Blues' best big men towards half forward. Nobody home for the double blues on, but Field Road did well. He goes long to the square, but the kick was smart at Harrison. Well done. Buttering up Wharton. He couldn't get the ball. Painter concedes ground. Back it goes. Scott Russell to the lead of Field. He's got him. Oh! Courageous effort to mark that ball. Crashed into the pack as it came on. And there's George, George Fiachi who left the field with what appeared to be a hamstring injury. No, maybe more like a knee. Yes, it's interesting that one. He went straight down into the the uh, stand for treatment then he's out again so maybe he can go on Boyd goes for the safety of the line can't get there Painter still in there working for the ball chance now for Abernethy around the corner not well put and it's taken by Whittlesey can't make the distance from there but he'll put it up for grabs up towards full forward walk at the back oh Phillips and Shacky doing the heavy work walk came to meet the ball in the end took it far too easily for the liking of the Port Adelaide coach I would think Walker's booted too he's only 25 meters out it's his third kick and he has booted three goals how's that for value for kicks still 4-7 Port Adelaide a goal on 10 sports action and Jeff Phelps didn't have too many chances left I wouldn't think you can't afford a player to be kicking three goals in an opening uh, game like this even if they are going with the win and uh, there'll be a swap on very shortly, I would think. You might just keep an eye on David Ward, but uh, he is de definitely an opportunist. They still go into the forward line. They're really making an attempt to use the ball. Admittedly, they've got the win, but Port Adelaide, on the other hand, really not using the ball well at all. Port Adelaide defence under plenty of pressure. It was Abernathy out of the centre of the field. It was a short kick. Johnson couldn't control it. Oh, Whittlesey threw away the ball, but he was held as he did so. No free kick. Play on the crawl. I couldn't quite get there. Reed over the top. Well done. Oh, Delita. Oh, Leslie Corbett in. The ball comes back. Simpson's up. He couldn't take the ball. Finally over the top of it and feeding it off. Kim Russell. In turn, Reed caught on the right boot. Well smothered by Leslie. He's been prominent in the last minute or so. He carried the ball across the line. The umpire was right there. That's the boundary umpire. Well done, Martin Leslie. Two good passages of play. Reminiscent of the state game, Martin Leslie being very physical and pretty intimidatory in the last minute or so. Or oh, Delino, I would think, has uh, taken a fair bit of steam out of him with that one. And what a handball set the kid up very badly indeed. And Leslie makes dirt pay for the poor handball. What they call a hospital handball. You usually wind up there. Johnson, Delina still in there. Well done, lad. Russell can't. Neither can Johnson. Quickly onto the boot now. Off boy. Up towards the half forward line. Smith. Geneva. Geneva puts it up. Looking for Hodges. The bodies go in. Can't bring it down. In there he goes again. At the back now. McWilliams. Whipped out a long hand ball. Darren Smith. Down. Geneva. He's caught. Whipped out a hand ball. Slow away now. Here's a chance. Smith. Got it from Simpson. Put it on its way. And it's offline for a point. So the pressure continues. The physical pressure, at least, is uh, really quite evident in Port Adelaide handing it out at the moment. Andrew Downs is on the ground behind play. Appears to be a leg injury. There's a good mark taken there by Wharton. Wharton at half forward. Will put the ball long in. Hines sitting underneath it. Couldn't take the mark. Foster feeds the ball back. Rob Williams threads the ball through. He's got Smith. Smith's down. He's lines up the goal. opportunity for the ball Adelaide into that breeze that would have been a very handy goal just been confirmed from the boundary line that George Fiacci has certainly got a pulled hamstring so I would think that would preclude him from taking part unless there's an emergency this afternoon 
and Andrew Downs, who uh, last time I saw him play, I've got an idea he's taken off on the stretcher. He's having a bad run at the moment. Roland Smith out in front there. Oh, over the top comes Lennon. That's got to be a push in the pack. Uh, back, and the umpire will give Roland Smith a free kick, 35 metres out, 60 degree angle. This is a very tough kick. Rowan Smith got his slot on the uh, on the field after Fiaci was interchanged. 25 minutes gone into time on first quarter. You'll know as soon as we do. Not a bad attempt. Oh, what a brilliant kick! Rowan Smith boots his first. Port Adelaide 2-2 to the Blues 4-7 on 10 sports action. Rowan Smith the next season so we know him to be an attacking wingman type well, he started on the bench today got his opportunity through George Piacci's misfortune and uh, working hard through that court line on a half court flank at the moment he's on good opposition where he can go with him did well on that occasion Reynolds back in ruck for the double blues Johnson still doing all the magpies ruck work threads it forward Abernathy paddles it down high in pursuit Geneva in support out the back door it goes Wharton with the ball, has time for a bounce. This is good work, Port Adelaide building into the breeze. Hines is up from behind, Hines! Well, he said himself he was always going to be around the ball. But he gave it away too easily. Underwood dumped it forward, oh, crashing through Willsey. That's good work, Williams, what commitment. Leslie, Galena, he couldn't control the ball. Now Barley Wharton gets the ball out, Russell, the full forward, oh, well, be pushed, he's Port Adelaide opponent, play on the call, as I, as Richter it is, endeavour to come through. Kerr, Foster, Richter, Kerr, good work, Kerr, made Richter in the ball, then finally took the ball off him and pushed the ball across the line. Oh, gee, they're going to take no prisoners out there. Heavy body work, the bunker of the Port Adelaide, Side, John Cale in there with the assistant coach Brian Fairclough. It's whipped out. Here's a chance now for Whittlesey. Drives long to the vacant spaces. Coming to meet it, Delaney got a bad bounce. Phillips to the rescue, looking for Delaney. He's going to leave it for Simpson. Provides the shepherd on the left foot. Simpson goes towards the half forward line. Rowan Smith gets the city he was looking for. Caught on the left. Out comes Hodges. With him, Will B. Here's a chance, Reynolds lost it, Wellsby again, needs help, does it pretty well, down they go, in a heap, and the umpire will come and ball up on the left half forward flank for the Magpies. And Port Adelaide going forward then, they looked a little bit better, uh, Rowan Smith really trying to use the ball, going to the forward line rather than just putting it in high. Hines opposed to Reynolds, it was Hines with the tap, he got it forward, but we'll see, what experience. Sits the defensive side of the pack, took the ball and just headed towards the boundary line. He wasn't concerned whether or not he found a double blue jumper. He just wanted to push it wide. All will come back as the crowd builds. Magnificent conditions for football. What a great sight. Football park, full to the brim. Reynolds. Oh, Painter cleverly done. Threads it forward. Oh, the leader, another hospital handball. He's out. Oh, Johnson collected him. He hasn't moved. Leslie over the top of the ball, trying to stream out to Delaney, has not moved, that's bad news for the boys, and that really was a hospital handball. Well, the other, uh, the other conclusion from that is that uh, when you call for the ball, and you don't know who's around you, you really uh, run the wrong way like that, it's terribly dangerous, and uh, both players that are blind, you've got to have, uh, got to have a bit better vision than that. On the left, he's in a lot of trouble, no one likes to see that sort of thing. I think the, um, the actual tackle itself was uh, reasonably sound to me. Johnson just committed himself through the ball and took the body with it. At the moment, Sturt 4-7, Port Adelaide 2-2. Unfortunate action on 10 sports action. Russell Johnson's high tackle. 
on the unfortunate Carl Delina who stretched it from the arena. Neville Roberts, how did you see the incident? Well, I think the, uh, the unfortunate thing is that uh, the player's concerned. One didn't see the ball, see the, the people around him. The other player um, really should have given the ball uh, on that occasion. But nonetheless, Russell Johnson just went through the play, turned his shoulder, and I think it was pretty fair. A lot of booing going on amongst the big crowd. Not happy. Delina took two very heavy knocks. Both courageously, he took the first one. He could handle the second, stretch at him. He's senseless at the moment. A long kick by Richter to the half forward line. Out comes Shaq. He got a bad bounce. Harrison in defence for the Magpies. Off goes Foster. He's got a hook it round to that player. Foster's got a long run. Won't get there. And the ball will trickle. It won't trickle out of play. One on two out there. Over the top goes Smith. He's the player that's replaced the injured Delina. And no doubt he'll go straight to the centre. I would think Sturt players might be starting to look for, well, a little bit of retribution there, David. I, I don't know that it's all that good. I hope not, Ian. It's been a great game of football to now, and they really do need to play the ball. They need aggression where the ball is, not at the man. Heinrich preparing to come on for the double blues. As the runner goes out, we'll pick up who's coming off. Reynolds hands around the ball. Wharton, cleverly done, feeds it back. Put Johnson under plenty of pressure. They're going to clobber him all day. Williams forward. Abernathy into space. Doesn't he do it well? Long striding. Abernathy long kick towards the square. But the siren sounded. And that completes the first quarter. What a great term of action. Port Adelaide, two goals, two, 14. Trail the double blues. Four goals, seven, 31 on 10 sports action. In the dying minutes of that first quarter, certainly has put plenty of feeling into the game. Both out there on the turf and also in the crowd. Russell Johnson is the focal point at the moment, and only time will tell whether the uh, the tackle was fair or not. It appeared to be to the naked eye, but no doubt someone's going to have a look at that later. 4-7 to 2-2. Two, two. In there as Kitschke taps it down cleverly. Through goes Wharton to the half-forward line. Foster across. Smith took his running. Out they come quickly in there as Hines. Can't get it out. Kerr hooks around the corner. Getting back on it. Will be just four. Scotty Hodges. The ball bounced off his fingers. Had it cropped, Hodges would have had a walk-in goal, but it went the wrong way. A big great bounce, and Port Adelaide get a point. Back into play. Oh, Wharton just got a hand to it at a crucial stage. Richter couldn't get clear. Now Scotty Field comes out with it off to Heinrich. Around the corner he goes. No one downfield. Leslie had the run of the ball, and now he gathers it in. It bounced back to him in the finish. I thought it was going to bounce away. Umpire Argent indicates that that's a dead heat with Underwood, and he'll have a bounce. Crowd really enjoying this brand of football. Grounds drying out, fine weather. Taking on the atmosphere of a final. Martin Leslie feeds back. Kitschke, short high over the top. Williams playing well. Forward off, cleverly done. Wharton in trouble. Couldn't get around the opposition player, and we'll see Painter. On the left boot, Kitschke sits underneath it. He'll need to go hard. Oh, he got it. Went up a little bit early. Kitschke forward. Shacky underneath this one from behind. Couldn't take it. Russell Johnston back to Boyd. Boyd on the left boot. And don't the crowd hate Russell Johnston? The Sturt crowd, that is. Smith, free kick. Oh, Heinrich's got the job of picking up Smith. Smith towards full forward. Nobody there at the back of the pack for Port Adelaide. Reed for the double blues. Dispatches it. Wellsby, the young 18 year old, playing his first real pressure game. And he's picked up a free kick. Russell. Kim Russell. Kick number six towards the outer wing. The lead was on from Shaggy. Phillips was there with him. But that ball's been touched just before it went across the line. And a game will have a throw in. 4-7 plays 2-3. No doubt who they support. Would be pretty happy at the moment. Though although they're 16 points down, they've got the breeze this quarter. Although they haven't scored a goal with two and a half minutes of it gone. Free kick to Sturt. Goes to John Painter. Painter edges the ball to the outer side, holding up in the breeze. Russell Johnson. Every time he gets the ball, the crowd give him a serve. Drives long. Back towards the half-forward line. Foster. Oh, gee, no. No one got that one very well except McWilliams. It's took a casual mark and he'll go out to Russell on the outer side and Kim Russell's got a check side of centre wing. 
he'll put the Blues into attack towards the half forward line. They don't seem to be keen on going direct. They playing indirect football down that outer side. And Russell, I wouldn't know. Neville, I wouldn't have thought that would be the side to try to attack. Well, the wind appears to be coming straight uh, straight down the ground, favouring the golf course end. So it uh, might be quite academic to either side to go, but. Uh, Really, there's no reason why you shouldn't start bringing the ball back into centre once you get past half-back anyway. The double blues endeavouring to bottle the ball up along the boundary line so that the Magpies can't score with this breeze. In fact, it might even have blown up from a two or three goal breeze to a four or five goal one. Ketchke and Smith. Smith took the ball but couldn't bring it to ground. Sturt Smith. Forward. Poor kick. Russell Johnston. Oh, back to Martin Les Leslie Phillips now. They're switching play, the Magpies. Good mark, Ward. Direct football. Oh, this is dangerous. The Magpies have a panic. Williams with the ball. Sits it half forward. Where's he going? He had Boyd flanking him, but he drives the ball back into a pack of players. Oh, Simpson! Oh, what a mark! Oh, he just seemed to float up there, and I thought he threw too early, but he just stayed up there, and that's a great mark. Well, he's been playing very well. Five kicks, four marks and a handball. Four minutes into the second quarter. He just chipped away at that one too. Pretty easy. What a fine kicking style. That's a goal. The Magpies, three goals, three. Stuart, four goals, seven on 10 sports action. Well, John Simpson having a real battle on uh, Scott Russell off that wing. Both players uh, both run forward of the play. But also both of them... Uh, Simpson in the past hasn't had a very good defensive game, but uh, he's not doing that too badly today. But uh, on that occasion, his attacking game was uh, nothing sort of sensational. He put his eyes on the ball, went for a jump, sat up there and got one hand to it, kept it and kicked truly. 4-7 plays 3-3, three, three, 10 points in favour of the Blues. At the bounce, Johnson. Gets the tap away, Abernethy, well done. Quickly to Foster, can't bring it down. Back in defence. Downs looks around the corner. Russell can't find it. Wharton. Abernethy. Got the kick away up towards half forward line. Hodges. Smith in the back of the pack. Within there, Hines. Ripped up over the top. Kerr. Working half the ball. Kerr comes out with it. Needs support. Back to Geneva. All the handballs are soccer. Geneva has to back up. Look around the corner towards Rowan Smith in front. Ripped it through, lost the footy, down goes Rowan Smith. In there is Wharton, now Kerr, going through Hines, lost the footy. Geneva, on the left leg, Smith, and he's got it 25 metres out. Gee, that was a hard passage of play. Heavy bodies going in everywhere, and also a smidgen of uh, mistakes occurring. Wind assisted, he'll bolt the distance in, 25, 30 metres out, Almost exactly the same spot as Simpson. He chips away and bottles it. That's his first goal. Port Adelaide closed the gap, but still trailed 4-3 to 4-7 on 10 sports action. Let's give one goal to Darren Smith, playing at centre-half forward. He's the sort of forward who uh, come into a game and kicks three or four goals quickly. He's been kept, uh, he kept reasonably quiet by uh, Andrew Downs. On that occasion, got a short pass and uh, the kick through it. Carl recovered from that heavy knock, sitting on the sturd interchange bench, but he looks pale. Phillips on the left, towards the boundary line. He was looking for Boyd, in fact, but it's just too long for that player. And again, a throw in. Yeah, I was thinking as I made that comment, Ian, that uh, while Delina looked pale, he certainly has reason to be. Oh, yes, he took two very heavy knocks and full marks for that. He's still up there, or he's still coming back on the bench. Going through with Roy Simpson. Gives it away to Williams. Oh, Williams puts in a huge kick. This could bounce through. Oh, what a magnificent goal. Had to be over 60 metres. Boots his first. And Port Adelaide hit the front of Football Park. 5-3, they lead the Blues. 4-7 on 10 sports action. Stephen Williams there providing plenty of run. Uh, that's, that's Port Adelaide style. And that's Port Adelaide style. They like to build it in long. On that occasion, they got it up, caught the wind, and uh, was paid uh, 
take the, the rewards. Johnston driving the Magpies forward. He's rucked well today. A game with the tap. Whittlesey playing at centre field now. He started the game in the back pocket. Scott Russell bends it around the corner. Oh, Wharton fended it back cleverly to Williams. That was good work. Now an opportunity from Leslie from half back drive through the centre. It's long towards full forward. Welby's there. Rowan Smith. Neither player could take it. Richter. Russell. Oh, good defensive work. The Double Blues working it into the breeze. Shackey in front of Phillips. Oh, Phillips clumsily. Now Smith, an opportunity to did the ball go across the line? No, the umpire said the ball didn't go the whole way over. And cleverly done, Scott Russell. He's found Reynolds. Reynolds in turn, Whittlesey goes short on the lead. Walk, he's got him. The man who kicked three goals in the first term to give the double blues the lead at quarter time has marked about 20 metres out on a fairly tight angle. This will test his ability, David. That is not an easy kick. Breeze coming in left to right, very difficult. Will it what? The breeze will in fact blow the ball away from the goals. He'll have to go very close to that left post or keep it very low. He's taken too much of the left post. But if you watch that ball after it went through the goal, Daisy, it still came well back. Yes, David, I think it's a case of getting the ball up over the top of the cantilever. If you can keep it reasonably low, the breeze doesn't take effect. And it's good to see young Carl Delina sitting there in the bunker with his coach. And uh, I'm just wondering whether he'll go back on never. What's the score normally these days? Uh, you've been concussed, do you leave yourself off the turf? There'd be no, uh, no doctor worth his salt would let uh, that young boy back near the turf today. Right, right, right. Difficult decision as Boyd feeds the ball on to Simpson. He's playing a fine game. Now an opportunity there for Foster. Foster towards full forward. Wellesby from behind sport. Does the ball sit behind? It does. He can bend it back around the corner. He has. He snaps. Oh, it's off line. One behind. Port Adelaide, five goals for the Double Blues. 4-8 on 10 sports action. It's a feeling that uh, when Port Adelaide go forward, it's, it's not with a lot of method. They're just putting it in high and relying on their competitiveness around the ground to score. But at the moment, uh, their aggression and their intensity is uh, giving them plenty of opportunities. You're not wrong. Certainly kicking long. Wharton almost. Kerr needs support. Down he goes. Wharton again loses it. Stephen Williams in. Still in there working for the ball. Geneva on the left leg. Puts it up for grabs. Gates and Burge on the ball. Leaping from everywhere. Almost a big mark. Going through Richter. Left the ball behind. Still they work, arms and legs everywhere, heavy bodies in there. And umpire Abbott will come in to bounce. A bounce in the right full forward pocket with Port in attack and leading by two points. Late 11 minutes of the second quarter. Plenty of action out there. Reynolds, Hines towards the line. Reed can't. Smith back in defence. Has a time to have a look. Goes wide out to the outer side. Painter, now he's got no one to kick to at all. He'll have to stop playing and come back inside. And he'll find their uh, Heinrich. Heinrich on turf now. Goes out wide as they tick-tack into attack. Russell out there. With him is Field. Harrison, good tackle. And the ball goes out of play. No. Nope. Yes, it is out of play. Even though Painter whipped out the handball. Throw in at centre wing with Port 5-4. Sturt for 8. Carl Arena warming up on the boundary line. Gee, I can't believe that. What courage. He's stretched it off during the first turn. Whittlesey through, trip, free kick. Crowd just applauding Carl Delina, warming up on the boundary line, kick number nine. The Whittlesey playing well, Kitschke from behind, spoiled. David Ollie. Ollie has good vision, Oh, out on the lead walk, he's got it, playing well. Three goals won from only four kicks. Mark number three. Distance won't be the problem. The angle will be much better for the youngster. He puts it up nicely. It's sitting back. The crowd fly in the square. Will it go through? The goal umpire indicates it was there. Gets the over his head. Has made sure of it anyway. No worries about that. What a good snap for the big fella. That's the double blues. First goal into the breeze. They go now to five goals eight. Port Adelaide five goals. All the double blues have the lead. You can't help but think that... Uh... Phelps needs to be moved off a walk. I saw he kicked three goals in the first quarter and now even going into a stiff breeze the few times that Sturt have been forward. They have actual fact found David Walk and I wouldn't be surprised if Jack Carr made that move pretty shortly. Sturt answer the challenge. Still Delina warms up. Will he or won't he? Reynolds, Johnson, Smith, 
whips it out high. He'll get a free kick for that tack side of the centre circle. David Ida puts the Blues into attack. Off goes Kitschke, but he's going to the outer side. Well put out there, and that's Whittlesey. He likes to play on. Goes for the lead of War. Oh, it's a tumbling putt kick. Jackie can't find it. Here's a chance. Can the big fella make it through? Kitschke! Brilliant lead on War. Shivered the big fella through. And Sturt kick further clear. 6-8 to 5-4 on 10 sports action. Well, he's not only able to take a big mark here. Uh, in the square, this uh, Damien Kitschke is also pretty mobile and uh, he played a foot around the packs. He had a good shepherd there by David Ward, which gave him a little bit of time to steady. But uh, going in with a bit of method, using their big fellas up there, Sturt looking pretty good. Reynolds rocking with the double blues. Hines having a run on the ball for Port Adelaide. Hines taken to ground, couldn't get the handball clear. Now finally, I working hard, hands and knees, that's desperate work. Shaggy, Lennon it is, with the ball, all behind play, Heinrich just having a little to do, he's picked up the free kick, Foster clobbered him, umpire Abbott saw the infringement, there was no report, but Heinrich with the free. Boyd played on, did that cleverly, gained valuable metrage into the breeze, the kick is a good one too, from behind, the big men fly, Painter cleverly done, Scott Russell short, oh, good possession football, Underwood. Now Underwood has Kitschke in the square, Walk sets off for a lead. That's where the ball heads, Phelps too tall, Painter tries to paddle it forward, desperate work. Painter there with Kerr for Port Adelaide. Oh, Kerr kept it in, Painter now has got the ball, he brings it back. Oh, the big fella there, Kitschke! He's kicked two goals in two minutes. Oh, this is dangerous for Port Adelaide. They trail by 17 points, Port Adelaide at quarter time. And with the breeze, they've got back in front. But now, Kitschke two goals has meant that the Double Blues enjoy a 10-point lead. Kick number six, 20 metres out, directly in front. He bottles this, they go to a 16-point lead. Oh, he's got it. It's just straight in. Third goal of Kitschke, seven goals, eight to Port, five goals, four on 10 sports action. Three goals in four minutes really can change the whole shape of the game. And for Delaney, he caught in two minds on that particular occasion. He was sitting behind Kitschke. Painter had the ball. He expected Painter, I think, just to push it in long. And he was in the right position for that. But as it turned out, the kick came in loose and in front. And I guess the old adage of staying in front should have applied there. I think Roger Kerr may have wished that he took the ball out of play. Hines against Reynolds. Whipped out by I. Lennon goes down on a heap. I again trying a searching handball. Williams, now Foster, back to Kerr. Kerr can't find it. Well done, but William and Kitschke left the footy behind. That's kicking to the danger, young friend. And the penalty free kick will go to Reynolds at centre half back. David Reynolds to send the Blues out of defence. The ball holding up in the breeze. Out comes Shacky. Oh, that is a great mark, young man. Over the top of the pack, strong hands, did it well at centre wing. His third kick, as he goes to the half forward line, having to stand his ground up there was Lennon. Now Kitschke whips it out, Russell, Kim sends it in towards full forward, Walker's up there at the front, can't quite get it. Quickly they search for the ball, Harrison through for Port Adelaide. He's got time to have a look. Two bounces and away go the Magpie. Long to the half forward line, haven't had he played it well, just that little push out. Got his opponent and went with him under the ball. Kick number 11. Finds Williams. He'll get that mark okay. He kicked one from here, but he was on the run on that occasion. I don't think he'll do it again. Stephen Williams in fine form for the Magpies in recent weeks. Ten kicks, six handballs. Out comes Hodges. Can't bring it down. Russell Johnson will need help. Back to Foster. Foster hooks in high. Up for grabs. Rowan Smith. Darren Smith over the top. Quickly in now. Russell Johnson. The big fellow open goal. Brilliant goal, Russell Johnson, his first. Port fight back for trail 6-4 to 7-8 on 10 sports action. Once again, really have to make the point. Where do they go forward? They just, they just pop it in high. And the obvious instructions are to get underneath the ball, get in the crummy position and fight like crazy for an opportunity. But, uh, I can't help but think that uh, the converse method that the Sturt are using is paying dividends. It's certainly paying dividends on the scoreboard. They're scoring into a win. 
the big ruckman for both sides drawing goals Johnson for the Magpies Ketchke for the double blues as Reynolds dumps the ball down Williams feeds the ball back off Boyd tried to crash his way through couldn't do so Williams over the top of it could that be holding the ball no said the umpire the ball was held to him Murray Argent just indicates that the ball was held to Williams he'll go back and bounce Hines opposed to Reynolds. It was Hines on that occasion who got the ball down. Getting the ball through there on that occasion was Foster. He gets the ball out to Geneva. Geneva to the pocket. Whittlesey sits. Hunters! Oh, Whittlesey got a hand to it. Dumped it forward. Rick not quite content to push the ball across the line. One third of the point for the Magpies. They're six goals. Five, Sturt, seven goals, eight. Scotty Hodges can't get into the act at all. He's leaping, getting his hands to the ball, but good defensive work from the Sturt side is thumping the ball clear of him he needs to take a few marks for Port Adelaide's sake Smith back now to Heinrich to Smith in the one two and he'll find there McWilliam or Willie Abernethy across cart Hines runs into trouble here's a chance now for Wharton can't keep the ball in play and it's out at the interchange gate Sturt 7-8 the Magpies 6-5 almost 20 minutes gone of the second quarter Reynolds against Hines. Reynolds stronger, took front position. Leonard, always oh, tackled too high. Play on, crashing through Underwood. Now Shaggy is good work. He was held on that occasion by Harrison and the free kick. Lawrence Shaggy, kick number four towards Kitschke on Delaney. Oh, Delaney, Delaney held Kitschke by the arm. Underwood through, no free play on the court. Painter. Paddles it forward, Underwood again, the opportunist. Can he get it out? No, he couldn't. Finally, the ball ricochets out, field wide. Oh, David Eye on the left foot. Foot, he'll have to go suddenly. Pushed off balance. Well done on that occasion, Phillips. The big fella with pace just got there. Pushed eye off balance, one point the result. Certainly Port putting plenty of pressure on the Sturt forwards. Delaney kicks in well to the outer side. Simpson, fine mark. He's taken a couple of big ones this afternoon. His fifth mark, sixth kick, as he goes to the half forward line. Down, down in front of Smith. Smith over the top, dark to play on. Fights it through the half forward line. Head for home, puts it on its way. It's not a bad looking kick, it's home. Brilliantly done, Richard Foster. His first, his second. Sturt, 7 9. Till the Magpies, 7 5 on 10 sports action. Richard Foster there doing what um, a few other players have done before him today just good sound individual efforts and uh, but I don't think good sound individual efforts can win it they need more of a team team performance Hines up couldn't get that ball Lennon off the ground now Williams towards half forward Hodges said himself he couldn't take it he thumps it wide now the opportunity for Abernathy back Foster can see Grant Geneva, he can stab it, goal, it'll go deep to the pocket, however, off balance, oh, the opportunity went begging there. Port Adelaide really just missed that one. And the football fans just enjoying the sunshine at Football Park. At the throw-in, Reynolds, Abernathy looks around the corner, Port got another one, brilliantly done. Playing a fine game, short kick, third hand ball, first goal, and Port Adelaide hits the front again. 8-5 to 7-9 on 10 sports action. There's no doubt about the class of uh, Bruce Abernathy. And uh, good to start the game in the centre of the ground. Carl Galena. Well, didn't, do, uh, didn't do a heck of a lot in the first quarter. But since now he's back on a uh, half forward flank. It could be a very dangerous half forward, particularly with a win like this. So if, he were, you draw, if he wants to draw the ball and put out they want to use him, he will kick a few more goals like that. The big fella's at it again. Hines still rocking. Reynolds stolen by Russell. He played a great first term. The ball is wide to Painter, picking up plenty of possessions. Pick number six, seven handles also. Work beaten by the bounce. Jackie through. Oh, coming through suddenly Underwood, he was held, play on the call. Now Phelps, out of defence, he bombed one forward. 
No one home for Port Adelaide, Daryl Smith for the double blue. He comes towards the centre of the field. Oh, this could be very, very dangerous. It is. It's going to come unstuck. Williams, Russell. Russell, can he hold the ball in the air? He does so in the piece. Good support from McWilliam. Daryl Smith really just needed to have that pass a lot sharp. At the bounce. Over the top, Hines showing a lot of determination there. Reed meets the ball well. The kick is a scrubber. Wharton through. With him, Russell. Cleverly back to Jennifer. Rowan Smith. Johnson wants it in high. The big fellow's going to have to wait for the bounce. Can he snap one from here? He's hooked it too far. One point only. And a little disappointed at that. Chance to kick two in about five minutes. The big fellow wouldn't get all that many goals during the course of a game. As Port Adelaide moves on to 8-6 to the Blues, 7-9. Rowan Smith's effort to get that ball back into the centre of the ground to uh, leading Johnson was uh, quite brilliant. He didn't have much time, but he hooked it back uh, beautifully to him. Abbott yeah, Abbey set himself, but at the back, oh, stolen by Wilson Clay on the umpire's call. I oh, kicked the ball forward. Scott Russell, he threaded his way through there nicely. Feeds it off Richter. Down from the back pocket, he goes short. The lead of Underwood. Foster there, spoils. Underwood and Foster lock arm. Play on the call. The advantage draw given. Richter follows the ball down, Foster again, oh, Underwood desperately, no free kick, play on, and now the ball up. North Sturt fans, looking very concerned, their side trail by three points, Port Adelaide have the breeze. In fact, at one stage, the Double Blues led by 16 points this turn. Reynolds up, dumps it wide, Harrison first man there for the Magpies, he goes towards the boundary line, grandstand side. Quite content to see the ball roll across the line. And again, we'll have a throw in two seconds into time on of the second quarter. Port Adelaide by three points. Beautiful day, big crowd, top game. What more can you ask? The double header, Sunday football park. Reynolds got the tap away quickly onto the boot of Boyd. Bad bounce. Reed's got to go back. You'll need support from there. Has a bit of pace. Will be in support. He can go out wide if he wants to to Heinrich, but he's going to give Simpson a chance. Not a good defensive kick. And Simpson at the attacking corner of the big square. He's got Darren Smith in the pocket. He floats a high one. Hodges on his own. No one wants to know him at the second grab. He's taken the mark. Well, there were two loose Port Adelaide attacking players there. Sturt loosened defence on that occasion. And Scott Hodges has a chance, but on a very difficult angle. Could use a banana ball. He's going for the uh, straight drop punt. No doubt he'll try to improve his angle. Yes, here he goes now and hooks back. And he has got it. Scott Hodges boots his first. Port kick. Port Adelaide kick clear. 9-6 to 7-9 on 10 sports action. Well, the mistake really is uh, David Wellsby. He had plenty of time to settle. Admittedly, there wasn't anywhere to kick it. He'd have been better off kicking a screw punch straight across the ground than Hyder Simpson. Simpson saw Hodges in the square, got it a long ball in, and they converted a good play. One and a half minutes into time on the Magpies by nine points. Wharton, solid player from centre wing towards Smith, centre half forward. He couldn't take that one, got both hands around the ball. Heinrich paddles it forward. Kim Russell wider still. John Payne at good work. Out wide, Daryl Smith. They're running the double blues, but Boyd cuts off a promising double blues attack. Or has it? Free kick to Smith. Push in the back. Daryl Smith, the double blues veteran. Drives in towards half forward. Shacky. Oh, Underwood set himself finally. His second mark, Painter, towards the pocket, walk, front position, in front of Phelps. Oh, Phelps from behind, spoils, comes to ground, Phillips dispatches the kick wide, Smith, he can play on, in the pocket, walk, he's there, Phelps is there, all over, walk! Oh, it was always on. Phillips and Phelps followed the ball down as it went forward, walk dropped back, and allowed the opportunity to Smith to pop the ball over the top. Mark number four, three goals, one, Kick number six. Lines up, oh, he's got it. Four goals to walk is good work. The double blues edge back closer. They're eight goals, nine. 57 trailing port, nine goals, 660 on 10 sports action. 
Jeff Phelps really under a bit of pressure there. It, uh, the ball did come back in quickly, but the responsibility of Batman when the ball gets kicked out of your area is to pick up a player. He didn't bother to do it, and uh, consequently, Walt kicked his fourth goal, which represents 50% of Sturt's score. Carl's got to make a move. Close to half time at Footy Park. Port Adelaide by three points, by 28 minutes. Again, they're on for Port Adelaide. He's been on for five or six minutes. Umpire Lorry Argent recalling the bounce. Take two. Line ball. Hines got the tap in the end. Whittlesey. High to the half forward line. Coming to meet at Harrison. Here's a chance for Sturt. Russell will be first there. This is Scott Russell. Now we need help. Well played. Wharton on. Russell's got a kick away. Straight to Leslie. Set it up now. Tregenza. No, this is... Uh, yes, it is Tregenza. Through the half forward line in towards the pocket. Hodges there. Can't quite find it. And he's given away a free kick. And Wellby is going to get the free for pushing the back in the back pocket. 9 6 to 8 9. Third kick to Wellsby. His last one wasn't a good one, as Neville told you, and cost his team a goal. Kitschke will whip it out. Gives a chance to Heinrich. Heinrich goes long. Up towards the half forward line. Shacky against Phillips. Phillips ups it clear. Paint it through. Phillips with strength. Leslie back to Phillips in the double. Quickly now for Kenza getting into the game. Floats one in towards Smith. Can't quite. Hodges a chance. Could not miss. Does not miss. Brilliantly done. Port Adelaide. Hodges boots his second and Port Adelaide kick clear again. 10-6 to 8-9 on 10 sports action. Well, the real trophy there, of course, lies with uh, Phillips. A great individual effort at centre-half back. It's, uh, it still must concern Carl that uh, a big man like Phillips had to do the contesting. Then he had to crumb. Then he had to provide all the run down the middle of the ground. Once again, another individual effort. I guess if they string enough of those together, they could win. But uh, there just seems to be a lack of team there with Port at the moment. We've gone through 30 minutes. It's the Magpies by nine points. Hines has done a good job since going to Ruck. Scott Russell desperately off. Williams cleverly put out to Wharton. In turn has Leslie. He's played a good defensive game. Abernathy playing a boomer. Goes short out on the lead. Hodges, he couldn't get there. Was cut off by Richter. And Richter in the back pocket for the double blues has the mark. Only a youngster, 18 years of age. Playing well. Hines. Oh, Ketchke. Juggled it. That's a mark. Mark number five, Damien Kitschke, quite content to slow down the play. Goes short, Whittlesey. Kick number 12, Greg Whittlesey, playing a great game. Shaggy, Whitt oh, we're going through solidly, Leslie, but the umpire indicated that he was held as he went through, and Mark Leslie has the free. Kick number five to Leslie. Eight handballs, pretty good game from half back. Towards that half forward, Smith was swapped by Reed, missed it completely. Ron Smith, Geneva, back it goes, Darren Smith, the handball forward. Oh, Tregenza couldn't quite get there. It was a shocking handball, not the youngster's fault. Put that down to Darren Smith, he just missed completely. A big surprise, David, as Carl Bellina is back on the turf after being stretched off. Obviously concussed, normally players miss a match after that but Deline is back within a half an hour. Well, a courageous move by Sturt. I hope it just doesn't come unstuck. Getting out is Heinrich. Gives the run to Lennon. Lennon will go now to Delina. Let's see how he goes this time. Down he goes again. Gee, the kid's had a bad day, I can tell you. Siren sounds. Half time at Football Park. Port Adelaide, 10-6. Lead the Blues, 8-9. sees them lead by nine points as we commence the second half at Footy Park. Down goes the ball by umpire Argent. Johnson against Reynolds. Whittlesey, eye towards the half forward line. Coming to meet it, Leslie. Out he goes in a hurry. Williams at the bottom of the pack and the umpire will come and ball it up. Just having a look for young Carl Delina back on the turf again. Yes, he's playing out of a forward pocket. And he was the young man who was stretched off in that... Uh, End of the first quarter. Johnson gets the tap away to Stephen Williams. A handball more in hope than anything. The pace of eye gets him there first. He'll need support. The kick is not good. Smith. Will in there. Whittlesey. 
Shocker. He lost his footing. No one within Chewy. The handball is a Shocker. Wharton gets it back. Gives it to Johnson. Out wide is Geneva. Geneva at centre wing. Watch the set. Supported by Foster. He's going to run him into trouble. McWilliam there. Foster well played. He in turn concedes. Back now to Boyd. Boyd to the half forward line, but it's all the blues up there. Heinrich to I, and Sturt come away off their half back line. I kicks long towards the half forward line. Well taken there by Harrison. Harrison with the ball at half back. Battled solidly the first half. Oh, into space and well put to Williams. Williams with half forward. Off goes Hodges to the pocket. The lead's out of at the front of it. Hines, he chipped into the space in front of Hodges. Now short, it goes on, hasn't come up. What an error. Oh, Riddle C intercepted. Shaggy couldn't take it. Now Johnston. Well, oh, the crowd don't like him, but over the top it goes. Wharton into space, well shepherded by Geneva. Off goes Smith. He's got the run of the ball. It sits. Oh, no, it doesn't. Heinrich, in turn, flanked by Richter. The double blues out of defence. That's a long kick and half forward. Shaggy roll up. But Phillips at the back of the pack has taken a good mark. Geneva out wide. Goes long to the half forward line. Smith again. Right there with him is Heinrich. Back to Smith. Kerr. Heinrich under pressure. Reynolds. Kerr at the bottom of the pack. And the umpire has no alternative but to come in and bounce. Bounce on the half forward right flank. The Magpies by nine points. Tremendous second quarter. The lead changed hands on four occasions. Russell, Scott type. Back now to Whittlesey. Got a chance to have a look. Kick number 14 will go in long. Right up towards full forward. Walks there. But on this occasion, it is... Uh, no, it's not Delaney on him. It's Phelps on him on this half. Delaney started on him, but of course, Walk kicked four on the first half, and uh, he's been banished to the puck. Wharton off the half-back line to send Port Adelaide out. Wharton with the ball. Kick number seven. Towards Smith. Heinrich from behind. Oh, Smith almost juggled the mark. Williams thrashes a handball wide and forward. Geneva, a quick one. Allows the space for Abernathy to move into. Can he keep it inside the line? Ball on the left boot. Kick number 14. Curved the oh, Richter from behind has been paid. Well, courage from the umpire. That's come unstuck. Simpson, oh, he can go all the way with pace. Watch him, he's like a gazelle. Toward goal, and it's offline. Oh, Robert Smith. No, one point. Ten goals, seven. Port Adelaide, Sturt. Eight goals, nine. Lennon going to do the, the work. Very complicated system of running their run-on players in the first half, which Neville picked up. Too difficult for me to repeat it. That'll be a Califumpian professor. Short Lennon. Stephen Williams having a good game. Farmed out there by uh, I to the half-back line. Russell wobbles one. Delina comes to meet the ball. Took two very heavy knocks in that first half and just avoided the third by the skin of his teeth. And the ball goes out of play on the half-forward right flank. Port is 10-7, Sturt 8-9. Tim Russell behind play, looks a little bit proppy with a leg injury as Russell Johnson gets it down. Smith back around the corner, goes I just inside the line, but it'll bounce out. Four and a half minutes gone into the third term. Very pleasant conditions at Football Park. First of the double headers. And what a big crowd. Over 30,000 people here today for sure as Ketsky. Gets it back in board. Oh, desperately done under at the bottom of the pack. Can he get it out? No, the umpire said too slow, holding the ball. Umpire Michael Abbott, a little bit of trivia. He married Bob Hank's niece. So puts a bit of football in. I'm sure you're all happy about that. Russell, Wharton, oh, that's deliberate. The umpire doesn't see it that way. And the ball is out of play on the inside, the half forward line. What a magnificent day, what a magnificent sight, and what a top game of football. 10-7 plays, 8-9, Kitschke, Phelps, over the top came Phillips, Wharton can't, going through strongly and doing it pretty well, is Russell, shoots for goal, and the umpire said it's home, brilliantly done, Scotty Russell, boots his first, and Sturt get a much needed goal on the board, 9-9, Port 10-7.
Ten kicks and three handballs. Scotty Russell, a uh, little battle on uh, John Simpson because his brother... Uh, well, it's Kim Russell on Simpson had a real battle on John Simpson, of course, and on the other side uh, he's on Warden. But uh, both the Scott boys like to run, uh, Russell boys like to run the goal. Reynolds, oh, Geneva, but the bounce will have to be recalled, no doubt about that. And by Laurie Argent was very quick to get the whistle to his mouth to recall that ball. Indicating he knows it was a bad one. See, that's embarrassing. Still. The difficult job, bouncing that funny-shaped ball straight up. Oh, that one's a beautiful bounce. Russell Johnston thumps it forward, intercepting Curley, starting to work himself into this game around the corner spit. He can play on and go all the way. No one in the square. He heads that way, but it's offline. Three for one behind. And Darren Smith now has one goal, three. Really inaccurate kicking. Let's hope that doesn't cost the magpie. Darren Smith has failed a couple of times running into open goals and uh, he's really disappointed with himself, but at least Port Adelaide looked for players then going into the forward line. I thought that was pretty productive. High off, Scott Field back on. Here's a chance for Whittlesey. Well done, Foster. Leslie, oh. When, once again, Whittlesey does it well. Harrison intercepts, Foster a chance. Gives it to Abernethy. Tumbles a punt kick towards the half forward line. Smith, top mark, Simpson out wide. Foster provides some run on the other side, but Smith is well tended and must go back to kick long. Boy, an awkward looking kick out in front of Hodges. Wells be right there with him as a battle of pace. Wells be keeps the run of the ball. Brilliant rebound by the youngster. Drive long up looking for Painter. Boyd up there with him. One on one as they go to the line. Won't get there. And the ball beats them both out of play. Port 10 8. Sturt 9 9. Sturt with the last use of the breeze and they're still down by five points and the breeze has got to be worth two or three goals. Russell Johnston, front position, feeds off the ball while Wharton cleverly done off the curve. Does the ball sit nicely? It does. Hugging the boundary line, he has time for a bounce. Oh, that's courage when big David Reynolds is after you. Now Abernathy, oh, nicely put. Put Mark Hines. Oh, he's looking to chip on this cook. Come on, Stark, it has. Rowan Smith was the target. He's lost the boot. He feeds the ball back. Simpson with pace. Can't get through. Now he battles up again. Tackled by Reid. Holding the ball. Oh, play on the advantage. The double ball is out of defence. Rigged up. Got it off to Russell. He'll have time for a back. Jim Russell from centre wing. Doesn't look fit. Oh, walk again. A star in the first turn. That's his fifth mark. He's kicked four goals already, but three of them were in the first turn. 25 metres out, almost directly in front. Kick number seven. The breeze at his back. He's going to bend it back nicely, oh, but not quite enough. Three for one behind. Four goals, two to David Wolfe. It's critical to Port Adelaide in the first half because they just throw the ball into the forward line and hope they win the crumbs and contest hard. And uh, they seem to have gone the other way now. They're just overusing the ball. But I guess uh, trying to work with possession into the wind, and you can't criticise him for that. Delaney to the lead of Harrison. He'll need a sit here. Does it well against Field. Here's a chance now, Underwood. Kicking to the danger against Harrison. Underwood's got the free kick on the half-forward line. He's got walk in the pocket. Have to work hard. He's got it. But G's almost on an impossible angle. That is stupid football, folks. You have just lost 15 metres. Well, couldn't have possibly kicked the goal, but he certainly got a chance now. Can't understand why a defender would do that. David Walk now, 35 metres out. Left to right, he's got to go. He's put the ball up beautifully. What a magnificent catch. That's his fifth goal. Brilliantly done, David Walk. Stood at the front of Woody Park. 10-10 to 10 8 on 10 sports action. We'll watch for the runner. I don't need. I don't think uh, John Carl needs any more convincing about that move. We've been talking about it for two quarters. We've now kicked uh, something like uh, five goals too. That's seven shots for goal. And uh, Jeff Phelps looks just a little frustrated now, making mistakes and costing them dearly. John Carl wouldn't be at all pleased with the effort of Phelps this stage of the game. Again, the double blues go into attack. They enjoy a two-point lead. Thanks for that goal by David Ward. Hal Harris missed it. Scott Field out the back door, but Delaney butters up and goes short. 
Kerr with the run of the ball. Will it set off? Smith almost took him out of the game. Smith now has the run of the ball. Reynolds comes into Shepherd. Good Shepherd by Reynolds. Smith to the goal square. Dropping back on Phelps. Oh! Fifth time today. Fingertipper on the goal the line. Denies the double blues of a goal. Getting tense. Has been tense most of the afternoon. Phelps needs a good kick in. Over the top came Williams. In front was Boyd. Would have thought the man in front, but the umpire's paying Stephen Williams. 13 kicks, 9 handballs. Fine performance by the Port Rover. Smith up. Not a good leap. McWilliam with him out there is Wharton. Well done, young fellow. Kicks to the half forward line. Bodies go in. Wells be almost. Foster. Kerr. Hooks it back. Lower Smith clear. Not a good kick. He gets a sit. Can't find him in the tackle. Hooks around the corner. Offline. Hodges can't find the floater. And the ball goes through for a point. Port move on now to 10 9. Sturt 10 11. Oh, Smith really is an opportunist half forward. Every time he gets the ball, he's pretty creative with it, or he's going straight to goal. The double blues have use of about a four goal breeze, but they only lead by two points. They're halfway, almost halfway through the quarter. They'll need to get cracking. Galena got the ball back. Lead forward. Underwood now off the boot. Desperate work, Underwood. Well done. He earned himself a free kick the hard way. And Andrew Underwood endeavours to gather the ball for a kick. And now 15 metre penalty. Kick number eight. He's a beautiful kicker of a football. There's Underwood. That one, no exception. Towards Shaggy. Jackie couldn't quite take that one. Phillips at the back of the pack towards the boundary line, quite content. And we'll see a throw in 12 and a half minutes into the third two. So, you'll never see it more, more deliberate knock out of bounds on the, than that. I agree, Neville. The umpires don't seem to pay them so much anymore. Delina whips out the handball. Better one than he's been getting. Cool from Willsey. Here's a chance for Russell to boot his second. The umpire has seen a free behind play. It's going the way of... It's a, well, even Field got hit by Wharton, but that's an FAD with a handball. Well, I suppose that's the way you play it. Russell's going to have a shot for goal. He's 35, 40 metres out. Wind assisted. Should make the distance comfortably. Towards the golf course end. Kick is high. It's long, but it's offline. And Sturt register one point. 10-12 to Port Adelaide, 10-9. And that's the second silly incident by a Port player that's uh, given Sturt a shot at goal. It's fine to be aggressive and physical, but uh, quite irresponsible to be giving them cheap shots at goal. Well, what can you say about that? They'll have their third shot at goal from the stakes in the last uh, ten minutes. Oh, dear me. League football. Roger Delaney. The offender. Underwood, who we've already mentioned, is a beautiful kicker of a football. Kick number nine. Now, if Underwood can put this ball up, you can see there his jumper being held together by Tate. He needs to put it up to the point of the square and bring the ball back. Oh, he's done it. Oh, what a goal. That's a team lifter. Underwood's got it. They're the sort of goals that lift sides. They're the ones that win your games. Well, Andrew Underwood wanted to give the ball off. He wanted to go short. He couldn't find an option. Port Adelaide had cut all the space off and had every player man. He really had no alternative either to sit in front of the square and hope for a big mark or have a shot for goal. And with the wind blowing that way, he backed himself in. What a remarkable piece of skill. The game's got everything. An unbelievable day at the bounce. Johnson against Kitschke. Quickly onto the boot of Foster. Smith needs support. Well down to Johnson. Johnson wobbles one. Out goes Hodges with him, Wellsby, who appears just to have a bit more pace than the Port Adelaide full forward, but neither can keep the ball in play. Throw in in the full forward right pocket, about 35 or 40 metres around from the behind post. The double blues have stepped away to a nine-point lead, but they'll need more before the third quarter is finished. Smith got it down, Geneva couldn't control it. Now Geneva threw again, oh, he handballed it out the back door to Williams. Williams endeavours to juggle the ball in. Oh, he's almost in slow motion, William. And now he takes the ball across the line, and again we'll have a throw in. I mean, I'm just not sure that he was really committed to that one. I'd have to agree, David. 
Kitschke and Smith will see after Smith had got the uh, reader got clean bowled up towards the half forward line filled up here's a chance now Shacky Shacky put no underwood it is puts it on its way in towards Shacky Phillips gets back there with him but the ball goes out in the full forward left pocket Phillips on the day has been uh, had the measure of Shacky he's been in pretty good form but today he can't get into the action at all he's had uh, five kicks and uh, four kicks and no handball so only four possession Lauren Shaggy has in fact 49 goals for the year so he's obviously been in good form prior to today's game oh and uh, Port Adelaide in their defensive region really are making some errors big crowd enjoying good football Scott Russell to Smith Smith at half forward and the breeze at his back Darrell Smith, the Double Blues veteran. Distance won't be the problem. Kick number eight, it's on its way. The goal umpire indicates all clear. That's a goal. Smith's first, the Double Blues 12. They're 12 goals 12. Port Adelaide 10 goals 9 on 10 sports action. It's definitely the scoring end. And uh, Sturt uh, into this quarter 10 points down. Uh, they've turned that around now. 15 point lead. Uh, what a, a good bit of uh, attacking forward football on that, on that occasion. Another good piece of skill by Smith. Port Adelaide defenders making mistakes under pressure now. Caught down by 15 points and haven't scored a major this term. Three points in actual fact. Geneva high to the half forward line. The body's going out there. McWilliam. Now Heinrich. Kerr joins in. Foster. The umpire seen a free kick there, going the way of, uh, of let's see, it's going to be Heinrich. Couldn't see what it was for, but Heinrich gets it on the half-back line. Sells the putt pretty well, but doesn't kick too well, and finds Ginevra on the half-back flank. Ginevra goes short, oh, this could be dangerous. Hines was up to it. Drives one to the full forward post. Wells be there with Hodges. Oh, Hodges came from behind. Showed greater anticipation. Wells be set himself. But Hodges stole front position, and that's a fine mark. Newport Adelaide need a goal. We've already heard they only have three points this term. They need a major. They trail by 15 points. Kick number six for Hodges. Oh, he's got it. Good work by Hodges. The goal kicking forward. Goal number three. That gives him 56 for the year, and the Magpies go to 11 goals, nine. Sturt, 12 goals, 12. John Hodges is uh, very skillful in front of goals. He doesn't get intimidated regardless of uh, set shots. We saw him kick a, from a set shot on an angle. And again, there straight in front. He took the position from behind and then forced his way in front and took a lovely mark and kicked truly. 19 minutes gone, second half. The Blues by nine points. Hines in ruck against Kitschke. Out to the outer side, Wharton through well on the left leg to the half forward line, searching for it. Rowan Smith, McWilliam winds up with the ball. Now Darren Smith, McWilliam again. The read didn't really need it then. McWilliam and umpire Abbott has no choice but to bounce. 12-12 to 11-9. Sturt only nine points in front. They need to get a bit of a platform at three-quarter time as Port come home with the breeze. Kitschke thumps it clear. Russell, well done, used his body beautifully with pace, drives in long, out steams walk, underneath the ball, can't quite make it. Here's a chance now to lead Well, the kid's showing enormous courage to be out there at all, but uh, grabbed it pretty well and hooked the point. Laney, I'm sure he won't go so wide this time. No, he doesn't. Safety first. Oh, that's a nice kick. Hines. Off it goes. Harrison from half back through the centre of the field. Oh, well see. Well done. He really is a great player. Kick number 18. Driving force in the double blues. Lead, Shaggy, free kick for pushing the back. Jennifer gets it out wide, over the top of the Phelps. He couldn't control it. Delina in solidly, and Delina's won himself a free kick. And the applause of the Double Blues fans. What courage. Delina towards the full forward post. Kitschke up. Kitschke's got it. Three bites. Oh, play on the court. The umpire nearly gave it. 
Kitschke went inside of Lee. Delaney was there. Now Phil couldn't quite control it. Gets it out finally. Kitschke forward. Now Underwood. Painter. Around the corner. Who's there for the double blue? Scott Russell. Oh, it sits into the square. He goes. Can he bend it back? Phillips has got him. Takes him to ground. Shacky in strongly. But the Magpies are up to it. Defense is Boyd with a bounce. Is able to clear the Magpies. But no one to kick to. He's got to bounce it out. Well done to Stephen Williams. Kicks long. Looking for Smith on the half forward line. Port Arrow did that one well. Looking now for another running player. A well tended. Goes back to the Stephen Williams in the double play. Out comes Hodges with him there. Well beat. Dunst clear. Richter with a chance. Has a time to have a look. Field centre field. But he's coming in long to Underwood. Underwood checks on the centre line. We'll go out wide. Field again. Oh, intercepted. Well played, Geneva. He's got Russell to beat. Gets the kick away. It's not a good one, but an FAD against the Blues will go to Roger Kerr. Just, no, it's going to go back. Now, Kerr's got to take it. It's an FAD, yes. Roger Kerr, in actual fact, will get it on the attack side of centre wing. Kerr to send the Magpies into attack. Stephen Williams is out wide. Fifth kick to Kerr, has had a big day. Reynolds destroys from behind. Whittle deep, lost that one. Down goes Geneva, the bodies go in. Oh, Geneva, miraculously through the pack. Willsby looks for the floater. He's got it. Clear at centre wing is Kim Russell. He'll blow it if he doesn't kick it soon. Out comes Delina. With him there is Harrison and thumps the ball out of play. Simon Tregenza preparing to come on to the field for Port Adelaide. Coming off Roger Kerr. Well, he hasn't had a big day. He's waiting to rove this ball. Hines gets it down. Kerr is there. Oh, Leslie also. Kerr again. Oh, the umpire's picked out a free kick and it's going away of Martin Leslie. Pick number six, but he's played a very good game from half back. Eight handles also. Reed, the crumbs, and the kick. Oh, Reynolds went solidly. Harrison went through quickly. He ducked, and the umpire's indicated holding the ball. And that was off. Scott Field off. Eye on as Smith goes towards half forward. Oh, well placed on that occasion. Scott Russell, free kick. Now by the case, he was taken to ground. Wharton the offender. And Scott Russell, who already has kicked one goal, is 45 metres out directly in front. Wind assisted. has one goal too. He's been one of the double blue better players, but normally better on the run than a set shot. Comes close to the man on the mark, puts it up, gives it a ride. Oh, that's a goal. That's a good goal. Two goals to Scott Field. The double blues 13-13. Port Adelaide 11 goals 9 on 10 sports action. And Sturt, uh, standing up under a lot of physical pressure. You said earlier in the game that the real test both these sides would be to see who really cracked under the physical and mental pressure of today but uh, you have to also can see there's a pretty strong breeze and uh, this this lead that Sturt have built up now they really need to hang on to to be any chance to winning i'd agree with that 24 minutes gone buzzing in on three quarter time Hines to abernethy 17th kick smith one two grab well done heinrich richter gets it out the run is smith Running support from Russell. Back to Smith in the double. Going to run him into trouble. The treble. Up the wall, full forward from Russell. And the ball fisted out of play by Phillips. A throw in in the full forward left pocket. Graham Campbell thinks I'm trying to pinch his job as Mr. Footy Punch, going for the doubles and the trebles. Out of bounds, about 20 metres around. 13-13 to 11-9. Back into play comes the ball. Kitschke. Hines down. Kitschke back. Oh, Delina. Again, as a snap at goal, but Delaney drops back underneath that one. He'll set off for a run. He's got plenty of space. Three bounces. He can have a fourth if he wants it, but instead goes to Simpson. Three. Reed holds up Simpson. He'll need to give away a 15 metre penalty. He does so. Port Adelaide players were running free. It still didn't allow the double blues players to pick up their men as Leslie towards half forward. Hodges from behind. Wealthy spoils. Geneva to the goal square. 
ball from behind. Lennon spoils. Wellesby's there. Russell Johnson couldn't get it. And Lennon carries the ball across the line. And in the footy, so I think that was perhaps the best option. Lennon to kick in. 13-13 to 11-9. Maybe 11-10 it is in actual fact. Smith short again to Lennon. I've got the breeze for the last time. They want to start kicking longer than this. They're going in short again. Three kicks and they've still got the ball inside their half forward line. Heinrich with greater experience decides we've got to go long and long he goes up towards Big Reynolds. Hines there as well. Wharton painter with a chance but he'll need help we well, out he goes with a push the umpire sees it that way and the free kick will go to John Painter at centre wing having a bird's eye view of the game as Painter goes to the half forward line up to the lead of Kitschke thump clear Tregenza back in defence will need help bounds it out well played back to Abernethy kick is not a good one and Painter sets it up again Painter plays on quickly on that left foot Towards Shaggy, too long for that player. Delaney the crumbs feeds forward. Tregenza. Simon Tregenza with the ball short or oh, too short. Richter couldn't take it, but butters up and drives long over the head of Kim Russell. Boyd for Port Adelaide. The crumbs and wide. Wharton into space. Wharton chip short or oh, this is going to come undone again. John Painter cleverly done to Shaggy. Phillips is there. Walk around the corner, couldn't do it. Kitschke, can he control it? He does. Brings the ball to the ground, handballs out. Delaney there. He'll need to get rid of it quickly. He does so. Simpson. Oh, clean bowl. Strongly too high. That was good work. Smith. Now Delina. He has Shaggy free. Heads that way. Shaggy sets himself from behind. The big fella's up. Oh, the front of the pack. Hines has taken the mark. No, he hasn't. Play on the call. And I'm fired at it to bounce. 13, 13 to 11, 10, almost 28 minutes gone. A huge crowd. I reckon there must be 35,000 people here. Leslie, Tregenza left it behind. Leslie's got to go and save him and paddles the ball to the line. Throw in in the right full forward pocket. Sturt would like a couple more. I don't think 15 points will be enough for this breeze. Only time will tell. It will certainly test the character of the young Blues. Delina can't find it. Coming out of defence is Tregenza. Rowan Smith against Reed. Oh, well played, Rowan Smith. Fended off beautifully, Reed, and took it with the other hand. Rowan Smith has been asked to play on. He's got Reed to beat. It's forced him on the left leg. Now he's lost the footy. Tregenza, that's holding the ball. Bad luck. But that's the way the law is. He only had uh, one hand to get rid of it and couldn't find the foot until too late. David I from centre wing with kick number nine. Goes in high and looking for Shaq, who simply can't get into the game. Kitschke's there, Painter through, can't find it. Wharton will play. Abernathy will go for the run. Will be in pursuit, can't catch him. The kick by Abbott is a shocker. Out wide, Jennifer with him is Richter. The grab was there, and the umpire's going to rule that way. Time running out, almost 29 minutes gone for Port Adelaide. Puts it up for Hodges, out on his lonesome. He couldn't kick a goal from there, however. He's went out from goal some 45 to 50 metres. He couldn't make the distance into the breeze. Puts it up for grabs. He's floating in short now. Johnson there. Reynolds over the top. Tap cleverly down. Here's a chance. Smith to clear. Needs a running part. Decides to have to kick himself. And it's Whittlesey. Whittlesey off. B-grade bounce. Tregenza couldn't control it. We'll see through, but the free kick's going the way of Tregenza. The umpire indicated he was held or not in possession. The Sturt, Sturt, all the parochial Sturt fans don't agree, but there goes the siren to complete the third term of football park. Sturt, 13 goals, 13, 91, with the use of the breeze, are in front of Port Adelaide, 11 goals, 10, 76. Over 30,000 people here at football park as we start the final quarter. Sturt by 15 points, is it enough? Half the talent scouts of Victoria also in the crowd, as I understand it. Sturt go into attack. Through up towards the half four line through Willsey. Well taken, Shackey. Shackey's only kick number five, which uh, hasn't been a big afternoon. He'll go short to I. Or is it going to be on the half forward line, Russell? Russell against Wharton. Got out of it well, slips it out. Here's a chance, Willsey. Starting to look pretty tight. Puts the kick underway. What a magnificent goal! 
Well, see, been a magnificent player. Dirt 14 13 to Port 11 10. Well, Whittlesea's just had a terrific day here at Football Park. 20 kicks and five handballs. He's been a tough competitor. He's made he's made possible things happen out of lost balls. And he's just kept working and working and working. He's now playing in the center. He started on the ball. And he's on... And of course, uh, he started on... Uh, he had Abernathy for a while. He's done a great job. Johnson. Catch gear was. who got it down. Stephen Williams tries to get clear over the top with that ball with Foster. Finally, the ball into that forward line. Oh, there's a pack of players, a couple of pushes and shots. Hodges couldn't get his kick. Was he pushed? No. Play on to the court. Hines around the corner. He's brought it back too far. One point. Oh, Paul Adelaide needed the quick reply. You're not wrong. In fact, Sturt have got a, a good lead now of 20 points. And Port, uh, Port have got the work cut out to get back into the game. The moment of truth. Sturt have done it well. Now, can they carry on from here? Lennon kicks very much like young Peter Motley. Very casual, but very effective. Smith, kick number 13 to I on the half-back line. David I to edge the Blues out of defence. In fact, he'll run it over now to Smith. Smith having to kick in a hurry. It's not a good one. Russell Johnson at the second, maybe third grab. Port Adelaide into attack again. Still not a popular person. Screws a magnificent kick in towards full forward. Lennon hit high, ripped up. Hodges can't catch him. Puts it out wide for Tim Russell. Now Russell will have Delina leading for him. He's got his brother in short. Now he's going to go for Richter. Richter at centre wing in the double play. Brilliantly done. Bounces the Blues into attack. Over the half forward line he goes. Up looking now for Walk. Walk can't get a leap. Through the pack. Down they go on a heap. Trying to get it out underwood. Now Russell holding the ball. And the free kick will go to Martin Leslie at centre half back. Martin Leslie's played a very solid game. He fed off the ball. Phelps from defence drives one lot looking for Smith. Smith really has moved around at centre half forward for the Magpies today. Abernathy. Kick number 20 coming up. If he can dispatch it, he did. The kick goes long. Oh, Hodges couldn't get there. Hines couldn't control it. Desperate work on that occasion. Oh, he got a push in the back. That's the way umpire Abbott sees it. Free kick to David Eye. And he'll go short across the top. Boy, he's looking for McWilliam. Too long for that player. Abernathy struck. Yes, umpire Abbott indicates he was hit high. Free kick to Abernathy. Abernathy from centre wing. Beautiful kick to the forward post. Sun in the players' eyes. They set themselves. Very difficult to pick up that ball when it comes in in that fashion. Hines now. Tries to get his way through, couldn't do so, and the ball bounces off the back of the heel of Richter and out of pipe. 14-13 to 11-11, four minutes gone, final quarter. Sturt by 20 points at the throw-in. Over the top, Hines dumps it straight to Richter, however. Now Painter, the runner through the half-back line. Geneva can't raise the gallop to get there. He's trying to draw the loose man, can't find it. Changes tack, well shepherded. Comes back on the left leg, puts it up to Russell. Russell's going to have to work hard. Up clear, well done, young Wharton. Both the youngsters to walk the line, and the umpire says it's out of play at centre wing. I don't think uh, John Payne would be very happy with that piece of play. It's not uh, very good economics with the football. He lost a lot of ground and a real advantage for Sturt. Jim Geneva, who was shepherded out of that uh, passage of play by McWilliam. In fact, uh, Whittlesey was the shepherder. Still hasn't moved. Williams, Leslie, high. Oh, Richter underneath that one. Held his ground but couldn't take the ball. And still couldn't dispatch the handball. Darren Smith has done a fine job of keeping the ball in the Port Adelaide forward zone on many occasions today. Almost five minutes gone, final term. The Magpies trailing by 20 points. Have use of about a four-goal breeze. The double blues are playing with a bit more enthusiasm. Heinrich gets the ball out. Whittlesey bursts his way through the centre. He's having a great game. Underwood under the... Oh, Underwood! Running the wrong, wrong way. What a great grab. Been a good duel today between him and Leslie. Into Smith. Oh, back and seeing ground. Underwood. Can he crash his way through? He can. Smith comes out with the ball. Gets it off. Kim Russell shoots a goal. Up line. One behind. And in the pocket, David Wolf was free. 
They're really trying hard to use the ball, probably overusing it a little bit, but uh, the commitment to follow on and back up is still good, so they can make mistakes and still get away with it at the moment. I think the Blues are going to take some running down. They're playing well. Phillips kick in, looking for Russell. Loose ball, Tregenza through. Joined by Abernethy on the left leg, the half forward line. Smith against Reed, Lennon over the top, and the youngster's got it. Puts out the pass, he's going to make Russell work for the ball out there. But the umpire is going to bring it back and give a free kick to Lennon, but the ball is not going to be advanced up field for the free kick. Back on the half-back flank, and I don't think she agrees with the decision. John Taylor has got his problems at the moment. He's down by 20 points, and Port not really doing enough at the moment to suggest they can win it. Smith, out wide is Stephen Williams, and the ball out of play at centre wing. It's the Blues by 21 points. Smith Kane would be sitting there slightly contented, but the game's not over. Enjoying a 21-point lead. The Port Adelaide don't give up without a fight, that's for sure. Tregenzo, Williams, Boyd. In turn, opportunity now for Foster. He gets it onto the running player in Simpson. Simpson through half forward, compelled it right the way to goals. Hodges, Shepherds it through. It's a goal. That's what the big boys lead. And is that the one on the road to recovery? Simpson gets his second goal. Good work from the wingman. And at the seven-minute mark of the final turn, Port Adelaide fighting back. Of course, uh, Russell Johnson rucking well. Had a real impact on today's game. He got the ball out of that... Uh, at Ruck throw in and Port Adelaide did well to set it up along that far wing. And uh, John, if you've seen Simpson so many times before, he's an attacking wingman, made no mistake. Brought up Port Adelaide's 12th goal. So down by 15 points, Reynolds in opposition now to Johnson. Gets a thump away, needs a runner. Williams, a high tackle on that player, will get it at centre half back. Off goes Smith on the outer side. That's the way the ball will travel. A huge, towering torpedo puck. Well put. Darren Smith might be beyond his distance. Not confident. Plays on quickly. Out steams Hines. Can't quite get there. Hodges it is. Yes, he's marked it. Brilliantly marked at the third attempt. One of the few times that he's been able to outmark Wellsby this afternoon. And Scott Hodges is booted too. Three in actual fact has a very important kick. Down by 15. Kick number eight. Down by nine. Port Adelaide make their bid. 13-11, they trial the Blues 14-14 on 10 sports action. Scott Hodges uh, defies his years. The sorts of uh, antics and marks and skills that he really has. Particular flight, the ball, he was really out of position. If this game goes Port Adelaide's way, they might well look back to that particular mark as a turnaround point. The Magpies with the breeze watching the double blues do. They need to tighten up in defence, but they can't go all out defence. They need to score also, or the Magpies will overrun them. Delina back in the centre. That's where they need him if he's fit. He shovels out the handball wide. Boyd fumbling. Can't quite get there. Now he can. Forced onto the left boot. Goes short. Simpson. Had a great duck game today, Simpson. 14 possessions towards half forward. Darren Smith, first man there. Oh, he got himself through the pack. Did that well, the big man. Towards full forward. Hodges again with Wellsby. Hodges couldn't take it. Reckner, Jennifer there. Desperately done. Beats out the handle. Have it out there on the left. Big point blank range. Oh, he's missed. Oh, Abernathy. 15 metres out. One of the most reliable kicks. You'd normally back him in from there, and he's missed. Not happy about it either. Can understand why. Tried to make it too much of a tidy kick, I think, and if he'd just really turned around and done an instinctive thing and slammed away, he probably would have got it. Lennon to the lead now of Reynolds. He's not going to get there. Boyd over the top. Port Adelaide starting to move. Delina off. Got a lot of courage. Scott Field back on. Kick number 10. Boyd up towards Hodges. It pulled forward. Over the top came Hines. The bottom of the pack, they can't get it out. And the umpire will come and pull it up on the edge of the square. Stirred up by eight points now. Their lead looking tenuous. Port Adelaide making their fit. Ten minutes into the final quarter. And what a great game it's been. Still a long way to go. Geneva onto the boot. Flying shot offline. The lead is now seven points. 14-14. Port Adelaide 13-13.
with their run on players. I think Tim Ginnett has really been the pick of them today, but uh, there's no doubt that the utility players and the ball carriers to Sturt have really had the edge. Wellsby from fullback, Reynolds, Johnston, Wharton from behind, flew late, Smith the crumbs, goes wide, Russell, Kim tight, oh, Simpson almost, Russell thumps it forward, Underwood with space, Painter in turn, Scott Russell, look at him go, the little champion short, oh, he's found Wharton, he really is a fine player, Scott Russell, David Wharton, five goals, two, Phelps really just hasn't had the pace to go with Walk. Kick number 10, it'll drop short into the square. Phillips is there, spoils away from Shackey. Oh, at the bottom of that pack. Oh, I couldn't take it. And now umpire Archer will come in and bounce. Rick Phillips has done a sound job in defence for the Magpies. Shackey's been quiet. Magpies need to score another quick goal. They trail by seven points. As Johnson thumps it down, I couldn't get through the bottom of that pack. Oh, play on the call, no free kick. Now Martin Leslie, free kick. That centre half back, Port Adelaide by seven points. Goes out wide to Genza. Whittlesey again. Bird will give it to Whittlesey. Good football on the half forward line. The captain gets his kick in long in towards the forward pocket. Kitschke over the top. Walk can't, but Leslie can. Call under pressure. Tenth kick coming up, not a handball. Well, this time he'll get a kick, no, not a handball. He gets it back for the third time. Bounces his way out, casually as you like. Well, he up left the football behind, how embarrassing. Now Wharton, Wharton tumbles a punt kick, but there's a third part down behind the play. Didn't see what happened, Neville. Well, there was a shadow behind play, and um, I didn't quite see whether it's uh, arms, legs, or hips, but. Uh, the real issue there, of course, was that uh, Martin Leslie really butchered that. He really had a chance to put them into attack, and he uh, made a mistake. Greg Phillips was the player that shepherded out David Walker, and when Greg Phillips hits you, you stay hit. Tregenza from half forward towards Hodges. Oh, Hodges pushed off the ball by Wellsby. Oh, Hodges has the run of the ball. Hines couldn't control it. Hodges again. Grab play on the goal. Oh, Hines off. Smith, Rowan Smith in the open goal. That's his second. And the Magpies now trail by only one point. All the magpies there look like uh, Hines and Company were going to muck that up between them. But uh, they managed to get numbers around the ball, finally worked it out. It was Rowan Smith down off his half-forward flank that provided them with, the, with another player to give the ball to, and he ran into an open goal. So right now starting to look uh, a little bit of fire in their bellies now, feeling a bit confident with this win behind them. They pull within one point of the Blues, a real contest on their hands from here. Three goals in six minutes. The Magpie is starting to fly at the bounce. Johnson against Reynolds. Johnson's tap away. Whittlesey went through, left the ball. Well done, Russell Kim. Out to the outer side. Leslie against Underwood. Underwood looks for a running player. Can't find him. Might get a free kick out of that. No. Nope. Painter. Good hand ball. Whittlesey. The running player, Russell. On the left leg, up towards full forward. In front, Shaggy over the top, Kitschke, Harrison. Tumbles a kick towards the line. And it'll go out of play on the half forward left flank for the Blues. Suffer from a little inexperience, the Blues there. Everyone trying to do the impossible thing. Everyone up, not a crummer down. Put out they'd run it out easily. Harrison's kick was a gem towards the boundary line. Oh, Delaney missed that one. Allowed on oh, yeah, He bends the ball back at the front of the back. Walk missed it. Scott Field around the corner. He's bottled it. That's his first. The double Blues have a little bit of breathing space. They go on now to 15 14. Port Adelaide 14 goals 13 on 10 sports action. Well, Scott Field, we're a bit critical talking at three quarter time of Mervyn Kane, Kane's tactics to bring Delina back on the ground who appeared a bit injured, leave him in a forward pocket and have Scott Phil roving off a bench with David I. It appeared that if uh, the guy was fit, that um, he should be in the centre of the ground. That just turned out he's gone off the ground. Scott Phil's come on and it's already paid dividends. The Blues eke out their lead to seven points. Johnson gets the thump away. Quickly onto the boot of Foster to the half forward line. Well played there by McWilliam. He takes the mark at centre-half back. He's got Kim Russell out wide. Makes him work for the ball. Didn't gain a great deal. He can come back into Whittlesey if he wants to. 
prefers to kick long, and that's not a good kick. Well taken by Boyd. Boyd checks side of centre wing to put the Magpies into attack. Smith at centre half, four off, kicks into the man. Cardinalson, well done Reynolds. Boyd over the top. Johnson in there as well. Tumbles out. Painter, well played. Gets a free kick for Henning Long. A little soft that one. But Painter will put the Blues into attack. The left footer goes towards the half forward line. Walks out there. Shatney over the top. Delaney. Geneva. Well played there by Russell. Or is it Russell? Or who is it? No. no I think it's Richter back there. Couldn't pick him up at the moment. And the ball will be put back into play on the half forward right flank. David I it was. Thanks for that, Daisy. They are difficult to pick up. They do look alike. Geneva taken the ground. Pushed in the back. Oh, John Payne can't believe it. Now the Magpies need to get a move on. That's exactly what Geneva does. Off to Delaney on that natural left foot. The kick is a beautiful one. Smith used his body well. Just created position. He can handle it forward. Abernathy. Now Abernathy can go from here. Half forward goes all the way. Chips it in well beyond the line. Did he get a hand to it? Didn't matter. It was offline anyway. That's the second miss of Abernathy. It hasn't been Bruce Abernathy's day. He uh, has played well in the centre. He's gone to half forward and uh, missed a couple of goals that he would have otherwise would have otherwise with his brilliance would normally kick. He must be a bit disappointed at the moment. He's had 24 Neville, but I agree with you. He's wasted a few important ones. McWilliam, the boy from Mildura, on the half back line. Dirt by six points. Short to Kim Russell. Sturt. Just slowing play down. 17 minutes into the final quarter. Back towards centre wing. Johnson. All well, the handballs are shocker. I don't think Willsey can raise a gallop. He spent his energy. Kane not happy about something. Sturt. Through Painter to the half forward line. Filled with pace. Back in well to Shackey. Chance for the Blues. Shackey 45 out. Brilliant tackle there. Harrison. Through goes Field. Needs to sit on the ball. Harrison there with him. Kicks the ball out under pressure. Good defensive football there by Harrison. And the penalty free kick will go to the lane. When you see Scott Field playing with this sort of form, you wonder why he wasn't on the ground a little bit earlier for longer. Oh, Harrison is the player for Port Adelaide. It's been desperate. There are a couple of his defensive movements this term have been nothing short of inspiration. Painter looks to slow the double blues down. He'll wait for a lead. Oh, he's got it into the pocket field. But uh, Martin Leslie intercepted that ball. He drifted across in front and has taken a fine mark. Leslie wearing that shoulder strapping. Ten kicks and 12 handballs. There's an odd bounce. That left hand bounce. Puts the ball towards centre field. Oh, Russell Johnson comes through but couldn't control it. Heinrich goes short. First man there, Painter, but the free kick's going the way of Heinrich. He was held when not in possession. Almost 19 minutes gone. There'll only be 10 minutes of play left. One straight kick, the difference. What a game of football a big crowd of football park has seen today. Kitschke, well positioned, nicely put. Oh, Kitschke has Reynolds free. He needs to drop the ball in quickly. The umpire's called play on. Kitschke undecided. Gee, he had Reynolds. Now he goes long. Reynolds is sitting out underneath it. So too there, Underwood. He couldn't take the ball. Scott Field lines up the goal. Offline. One behind, but that's a crucial point. It now gives them a seven-point breather. Top football, Jack Kyle's got his problems. Going right down to the wire, no question about that at all. Delaney's kick, centre field, Tregenza. Well, look for Foster, the handball wasn't good. Smith, well done to Richter. Now, Scott Russell, can't keep his footing. Martin Leslie, brilliantly done. Simpson will run, no one within Cooey. Richter's going to try to cut him off, he goes in short. Rowan Smith. Whips it out wide to Genzer under pressure now. He's got caught on the left leg. Runs down, kicks the ball away, but it's offline. In fact, it's out on the floor as it hits the behind post. Well, Kate is uh, obviously fairly concerned, but with a magnificently entertaining game. And uh, as we said earlier, we're really waiting for the first side to break under this physical pressure. It hasn't happened yet. No, but the first side to break will be the loser as Jennifer drives on. Hodges sits back on a Hodges! Well, we had front 
position and behind advantage. That's his sixth mark, Hodges, and none could have come at a more crucial time. Very reliable kick. Four goals straight today. Five metres out. Bangs it through. Five goals. Scott Hodges. None more crucial than that. And the Magpies now trail by only one point. Well, that's just pure skill. You can see it at the front position. Ball came in high, as it often does for those Port Adelaide forwards. And uh, he decided to stay there, backed himself in, and he's springing the legs and pulled the ball out of opponent's hands. It's a great effort because he's uh, been a dangerous forward all day. And if they're going to win it, we'll possibly see a little bit more of this guy. Kim Russell off, Galena on. Sturt trying to get some legs back in there, maybe just slowing down a little bit. The Blues by a point at the bounce. Hines, Kitschke, I, Smith, gets it out wide, giving a chase out there to Underwood. With him is Leslie. One on one, they go to the line. Over the top, can't get it out, and the umpire will come and pull it up. What a game it's been. Sturt led by 17 points at quarter time, Port by nine at half time, and now the Blues by 15 at three quarter time. Only one point in it now. 21 minutes plus gone. Reckon David was right. Six or seven minutes left of play over the top. Hines straight to the line and out of play. Centre wing on the outer side. Yeah, some players can eat a footy. Roger Kerr hasn't seen much of it today. Just feeling what it's like. Hines, Tregenza, Boyd, but painted a kick forward. Was a quick one. Phillips streams out underneath it. Oh, Martin Leslie, what a game he's played into space. Look at this. A panic for Wharton to run into. He bolts off, drives the ball high. Richter underneath it sets himself. He couldn't quite take that one. Coming through solidly. Hodges. Now Wellsby. Jennifer in front position. Got pushed off it. Jennifer again, but the ball's across the line. 22 and a half minutes gone. Final term. And this is something like finals football. Plenty of pressure here. It's really a case of getting the numbers to help and support. Underwood in stride. Players tied. They've given their all. High tackle on Whittlesey. Talking about tired players. He's got very little left to give. He is exhausted. Up back line. Socks down. Marvellous game. Drives back towards Kitschke. The big fellow's got it. Sturt, I think, must attack to win. I think they've got to score again to win. There's only one point in it at the moment. The kick is long up towards Shackey. His nemesis is right there in Phillips, so this time he's given away a free kick. Oh, that could be 15. Intercepted by Tregenza. Yes, it's going to be. The ball was thrown back to Shackey. Tregenza intercepted. The umpire argued has pinged him 15 metres. Now, Shackey still can't make the distance, but he'll put it into the square. Walk up there. Going in high. Player settle. Over the top, Reynolds. Harrison all left the footy behind. Coming through. Oh, he gets it back to Smith. Smith around the corner. Leslie. Oh, what a marvellous last quarter this fellow has played. Absolutely exhausted. Oh, the cramp in the white calf muscle, but Leslie to send Port Adelaide out again. This is his 10th possession this term. Great defender's game. These hard game grounds in warm conditions, testing players' fitness. Couple of them have cramped up as Kitschke pushes it forward, but he's won himself a free kick. The advantage rule could have applied. Mike Lambert brings the ball back as Whittlesey was streaming off towards goal. Chris Abbott, he's gone off the ground, and Roger Kerr's come on. Kitschke with the ball. Kicked three great goals during the second term. Keep the double blues in this. Almost in the time on. It's a double blues by a point. Kick number 10. Through the pocket, Smith, they're playing for time. Harrison sets himself, dumps it towards the line, and out of play it goes. Phil Harrison has also played a very fine game in defence for the Magpie. What a game. Only one point the difference, closing in on 25 minutes. Can Sturt hang on? They're giving it the lot. Over the top, thumped away there by Underwood towards the line. Kerr back in defence. Sturt still hanging in there. Won't give it away. Throw it inside their half forward line. I don't think the breeze is as strong as it was. Abba sitting in the bunker. Throw it half forward line. Hines. Underwood. Smith gets the kick away up the wall. Full forward. The bounce could determine. Here's a chance. Reynolds puts it out wide. Hawks. Can't hook it back. Walk. 
Johnson over the top. In goes Walker again. Looking for a free kick. Can't get it. The ball's still in play, or is it? I chase it out. Throw in full forward right pocket. In a time run of the final quarter, the Blues by a point. Well, Cardellini would have been disappointed if he'd given that handball. Cardellini could have gone into an open goal. Phillips over the top. Done forward by Tregenza. Painter intercepts. Drives it back. Underneath this one, Delaney just sits underneath it. Taking a pretty easy mark. Phillips over the top. Harrison. Oh, Harrison has fumbled it. They needed to keep the ball in play. They have done so, but he made hard work of it. The Magpies need to score right here and now. Reed's there. Oh, well done, Foster. Holding the ball. Bad luck. Did well to recover it. And the double boys are playing with some confidence. Getsky slows down play. 26 and a half minutes gone. There'll only be two or three minutes left. There's only been six goals scored this term. That gives us about three minutes of time off. High over the top of the pack it was Hines. He couldn't take the mark. And now our fire Laurie Argent will bounce. One point the difference. And time running out for the Magpies. Well, you're not wrong, David. If Sturt hang on, this is going to be a sensational win. Either way, both teams are going to be unlucky. Geneva around the corner. Port Adelaide have got time, I reckon, to attack about once more. Rowan Smith in the action. Thought about the handball. Lennon, well done. Holding the ball. Lennon on the half-forward line. Will take all the time in the world. Players telling him just to hang loose. Puts it in now for McWilliam. From centre wing. Goes in long. Up towards the half-forward line. Reynolds in there in the middle of the pack. Quickly coming out underwood. Leslie back again for his umpteenth touch. Whips out a long handball. Kerr needs to sit. He's under pressure. He'll get it out wide. Oh, intercepted Painter. Brilliantly done. Out there to Lena. Thought about Painter. Can the Kentuck one win the game for the Blues? Drives in long. Up the Lord Shacky. Shacky sets himself. Walk over the top. The ball to ground. Quickly now. Underwood through. Leslie there with him. Underwood. Hooks around. Quickly now. Shacky can't. Hines. Caught out late. Kick clear. But it's Painter in defence. And takes a fine mark at centre wing. Or oh, hasn't he picked up some crucial touches this term? Delina was concussed in the first quarter. Now back on the ground and starring. War oh, couldn't take it. Oh, he has a snap and goal. It's coming around. Offline. Two points the margin. Oh, a goal there could nearly have sealed it, sealed it for the double blue. It's Murph Kane. It, uh, nerves uh, written all over his face. But uh, we said that the physical pressure will be on all day. It just hasn't stopped and it doesn't look like stopping. Oh, a tumble punt kick. Oh, Reynolds did it well, gets it done, Whittley, we'll see. Short, quickly now Delaney, Delaney gets it out, Harrison, Harrison's got a running part, Geneva, time running out, over 28 minutes gone, Smith on the half forward line at the back, ball towards the line, Reed will be quite happy to go to the cross, can still hang in there. All the Port Adelaide running players, Geneva, Kerr and company, not under the ball, not able to get to the, the hard play at the moment. That might just be the difference. Sturt working just a little bit hard. Ask yourself the question, what sort of state is South Australian football in? 30,000 plus people at Football Park, two points in this game. Tregenza into the open goal, can he score it? Smith, Painter again! Oh, he's done it well, Foster ball it back. Tregenza snaps around the corner, it's a point! Factor with one point, the difference with play 29 minutes. There couldn't be too much time left. Oh, you're not wrong. Can you believe it? The tension is enormous. Down in the Port Adelaide bunker, there's heart attacks galore. Lennon goes to the outer side, looking out there for Delina. Oh, needs a sit, can't find the footy. Still bubbling up, conceding ground. Snoop it off, gets it out. Brilliantly done, Carl Delina. Rip the box. Down the outer side, puts the kick underway. 29 times.